whether in terms of methods such as LBM, which we haven't talked about too much in this podcast, or other solutions, what do you think the future will bring? I'm pretty sure that uh, finite volume methods is not the, the latest uh, thing. Uh, but one has to be careful. I can also tell you the anecdote. When I came from London to Germany, uh, shortly after this, uh, one visitor came from America and told uh, to me and Georg Schoerer, uh, here is the new uh, technology. Cellular automata was called at that time, but it was similar like lattice Boltzmann. Mm -hmm. This is the future. Everybody will be doing this. You, you forget your finite volume method, switch to this if you want to stay uh, in the game. And it was in, um, I think, 1986 or 87. And uh, yeah, Georg Scheurer was uh, uh, at a high position in ANSYS, and I was at a high position in uh, CD Adapco for until recently, as you see, doing uh, finite volume methods still. But nevertheless, I'm, I'm sure there will be new methods coming in the future and uh, most probably something completely new. I mean, you can extend finite volume or finite element methods and you can also extend lattice Boltzmann methods. But I actually think that the greatest breakthrough will come from something totally new, something different. Some some smart guy will come up with, with something different because we've been uh, exploiting... Uh, runs turbulence models and, and these methods for a very long time. And, and now it's, it's time for something, something totally new.